So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have the distinct honor of hearing from someone who has a, had a very unique Avon journey. So I first met Natasha Leitner early in her Avon career when we filmed an episode of Campaign Insider together. Remember that one? Okay, from the moment we started, I was incredibly impressed with her business sense, her energy, and her undeniable excitement for Avon. And it was an instant connection. But what I didn't know then was just how high Natasha would rise and how quickly it would happen. Her success isn't typical, but one thing is clear. Natasha puts in the work to make it happen. And with great work comes great rewards. Many of you in this room know Natasha from her vibrant social media presence and her mentorship to her team. But there's another side of her that you may not know, her philanthropic heart. So Natasha is deeply committed to supporting causes close to her, like the Breast Cancer Crusade. And as the Avon Visionary Honoree, she received a $5,000 cash award, which she chose to donate to Sojourner House, an organization that provides compassionate recovery services for mothers and families. So earlier this year, go ahead and clap. <laughs> Natasha had the opportunity to present her donation to Sojourner House at their Victorian tea event. You know Natasha, she loves a good theme and a chance to dress up. So let's take a look. We have honored and celebrated many individuals for the work and support they have provided to Sojourner House and Sojourner House Moms. Now, we would like to acknowledge the generosity and vision of one remarkable individual, Natasha Leitner. Natasha is a board member of Sojourner House and has a successful Avon business and was recently recognized with the Avon Visionary Award, the highest and most prestigious award that can be presented to an Avon representative. This award acknowledges her outstanding contributions to empowering women. She's not only grown and transformed her business, but also has uplifted countless others along the way. Sojourner House and Sojourner House Moms has the privilege of witnessing Natasha's dedication firsthand by uplifting our women, teaching self-care, and the love for themselves. The Avon Visionary Awardee receives $5,000 to gift an organization meaningful to them. Natasha is presenting the $5,000 to Sojourner House. Natasha, this contribution will make a true impact of the lives of the women and families supported by Sojourner House. But I wanna thank you for your commitment and your energy. Man, I want your energy. And, 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 and just the value you instill into our mothers, to let them know that they are special, that they are not their past, they are not their experiences. And we thank you for this donation. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage the 2024 Avon Visionary Honoree, Natasha Leitner. <laughs> Wow. Um, hey, Tim. <laughs> um, thank you. Wow. I um, I'm got a little emotional having to sort of listen to that again. And uh, it's, uh, it just reminds me of uh, how amazing this award is and to, to be honored uh, amongst the other Avon visionaries. But I want to say thank you so much for being here today with me. Um, you know, nine years ago, I made one of the biggest decisions of my life. And today I wanna to share with you a journey of taking a huge risk and how the rewards have come full circle. I always say, no risk, 
no reward. And I think that that's something that we all need to think about in terms of our journeys in life, um, our Avon businesses and things that we do. So here's how it unfolded. Um, for many of you, as Michael said, you know, I, um, I've been with Avon about nine years, but you guys see me on social media. I love posting all the fun and positive things that I do, but um, I wanted to really share my story and the risks that I took in my life and how the rewards have really come um, to, to be full circle. So here's how it unfolds. Nine years ago, and actually I'm gonna be celebrating nine years uh, in two weeks, but nine years ago, um, I left my corporate um, career behind me. And I can tell you right now, it, was, uh, it took a big leap of faith. I had a very successful career. I had a great salary, but I had a lot of stress. And I had two very young children in kindergarten and second grade, and you can see right here, our, they were up on the screen, but you know, that was me, you know, corporate mom, my two little boys on the first day of school. Um, but I realized that the corporate grind was really taking a toll on my health and my family present, I, presence. I don't really feel like I was being the best mom I could be um, or the best wife. Um, I wasn't really taking care of my health, my mental health. And it took a lot of courage for me to make the bold decision to walk away from it all. And, you know, I really do believe that things happen for a reason. And, you know, some of the early struggles of me leaving that corporate career, um, and I had some disappointments along the way. I mean, initially, I said there's no risk, no reward. There was an instant reward with me leaving that career. I had less stress immediately. I was less stressed about trying to juggle a young family, working 60 to 70 hours a week. Um, you know, my kids were the first ones to daycare and the last ones to leave. Um, but then I was able to focus on my self-care and my children. And that was the first time since they were babies that I had the opportunity to, to be um, more present in their life. Um, and now I've been able, well, at that time I was able to see them grow up and be a part of their journeys. I mean, I actually joined the PTO, which was, uh, that was another interesting experience I didn't know I was getting myself into. Um, if anyone's out there, you know what that, it sounds good on paper, but it was uh, interesting. So, but you know, I was able to actually get in the school and, and be a part of their life because I just felt like I was so disconnected. I really didn't even know what my kids were doing. They did all their homework with the, the daycare and you know, we had maybe uh, one hour to make dinner and then it was time for bed. So one of the things though that I struggled with and some of the disappointments that came along with that change in my life was that I really struggled with being that stay-at-home mom. I, I think that you know, although I left my corporate career, I didn't leave it to be a stay-at-home mom. I left it because um, the lifestyle, I wasn't living my best life. I wasn't able to handle the young family. And my husband and I, we don't have any family that lives close. So I had to figure out who was going to, I don't want to say give up their time or make a change, but we had to, as a family, come together and make some decisions. Um, one of the other things that I really struggled with too was that I lost that sense of identity that I had when I was in the corporate space because I thought that I was going to, you know, retire from this corporate job. I'm a, I'm a career woman. I, I was going to make lots of money and move up the corporate ladder, but um, you know, the, I wasn't really ready to be a stay-at-home mom. It just wasn't who I was. It wasn't what I decided I was gonna do and the title I wanted to be, that wasn't really what I was planning. Um, also, another really big disappointment was that summer, um, we had big plans to um, take a vacation. We were still gonna take it, because remember, when you, when you leave a big job, you leave, a, you leave the money behind as well. I left an entire income, six-figure income, to uh, change my life. And, um, my plans were to be super mom, camp mom. I had all these ideas of things I was going to do with my kids that I had never had the opportunity to do before. But we went on our 
a family vacation that we had already booked a year before. And um, unfortunately, while we were on vacation in Hawaii, many, many miles from home, I was in a surfing accident. And <laughs> unfortunately, this is how we spent um, our vacation halfway through. And what this ended up doing was really changing what I thought the, this experience was going to, how it was gonna unfold. I spent the entire summer in rehab, um, and I really didn't get that opportunity to have that time that I thought I was with my kids. Another thing that I realized um, when I left that job is that I did not have a sense of purpose anymore. I love my family and I love being a mom, but there are more things to me than just that. That's one of the, the roles in my life, but I felt like I lost my sense of purpose. I didn't have goals. I was feeling so lost and I also was feeling really lonely. I was, I was alone, you know, I, I sort of joke about this now, but <laughs> I, uh, I probably called and texted my husband like 50 times a day. What are you doing? Um, what's going on? I think he had to probably put me on silent because I was like just really lonely. And I didn't really have any friends or family that had ever gone through this experience. So I didn't really have anyone who was connected with me. And you know, I didn't really know any other stay-at-home moms that maybe had been through that experience. So I just didn't have anyone to talk to about this, you know, this, this new refresh, right? We talked about um, at Avon Connect, you know, refresh, restart. This was a restart for me, but I really didn't know how to navigate it. So this is where Avon comes into the picture. Now, uh, I didn't leave my Avon or my corporate job for Avon, but I've always been in Avon. Um, I've always loved Avon. I've been using their skincare for many, many years. I had a representative that brought me a book every two weeks, and I will tell you, the big F you follow up. If she never followed up with me, I probably, she wouldn't have had the sale because I bought every two weeks. Lots of skincare, a new, that was my best friend. Um, and when I left that job, I didn't have an Avon representative anymore. I didn't even think to go online and maybe uh, buy it because I was so used to that experience of having that connection with my representative um, and that customer service. Uh, and you know, I just didn't want to go online and buy something without you know, having that, uh, you know, that representative. So I decided after having a summer of disappointment, um, feeling lost and disconnected that um, once my kids went to school, once I shipped them off to, to elementary school, I decided to sign up um, for a discount on all of those amazing products that I love because I was having a little bit of a struggle um, spending money because um, on myself. And when I was working, I didn't, that wasn't an issue, but I really didn't feel comfortable spending money on things for me. And I'm sure all of you out there, when, you know, if you're a mom, you, you often feel like you want to put everybody else before you. And that's how I felt, but I felt extra guilty because I wasn't contributing financially at that time to the family. So the other really great reward, you know, I've been talking about disappointments, but some of the other great rewards that have come to me through the Avon business is it really helped me to connect with the outside world. It required me to go out and meet new people. It required me to go and make connections. You know, I, you know, just giving someone a brochure and saying, do you want Avon? That, that wasn't my style. I did things maybe a little different. I immediately knew that I wasn't gonna have time to go and hand out tons of brochures. So I went and used a service and had them sent out for me. I sent out like tons and tons of brochures and then what did, it, what did I do? I went out and I followed up. I said, hey, I sent you a brochure. What do you think? Um, you know, I've been using a new skincare for over 10 years. This stuff really works. Uh, you know, I, I did that follow-up and I started to make connections and I went to my friends and family and you know, that's where I started. I started with the people that I knew and that um, knew that I was in this new journey and uh, you know, I think that that's where the comfort zone was. So another really amazing or benefit really and, and opportunity um, through Avon is that it gave me the chance to have my own business. And I wanted a compliment, accomplishments that I could call my own. 
I also regained that part of that identity that I left, uh, that I lost when I left that corporate job. And I wasn't just like that stay-at-home mom. I, I really did not like that title. I was a businesswoman now. That's who I was. You know, that this was mine to have and, and own it in the way that I needed to own it. And the, the other thing that has, has been uh, such an amazing thing through this Avon business is that it's brought me so much pride. I love my Avon business, and I really love my Avon community. And that's one thing that I think that we all can agree, whether we're here at Avon Connect or you're joining in virtually and you've connected with your Avon family um, you know, on social media, is the amazing supportive community that, um, that we have found and the sense of belonging. I think that's what we all want. We want to feel like we belong and that we can connect. And you know, I think that one of the things that I've always been really good at is building relationships and, ne and networking. And when you do that, you're going to find a tribe of like-minded individuals. And I think that that's where you know, the strength of a community helps you feel motivated. It, when you're feeling down, you go and you lean on that representative, the friends that you've made, the family who support you um, to lift you up. And you know, I think that one of the best things about Avon is the friendship and the fun. Um, I like to say there are two F words, don't worry, two F words. <laughs> that I think are really important in this business, and that is friendship, and that is fun. The friendships I have made, right? The friendships I have made along the way have been invaluable. I'm looking out here in the crowd, and although I can't see you out there in Zoom land, I know that I have tons of friends and Avon family out there, but I look out in the crowd, and I can see so many people I've connected with that I truly, feel like we've become friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think that if you aren't making this fun, I feel like this is something I've done since day one. You know, when I started Avon, I didn't have to do Avon because I, I, I needed to. I did it because I wanted to. And I think that that did probably take a little bit of the pressure off of like having to be perfect or make that dollar immediately. I wanted to build up my business correctly. Um, so I think that I focused on the fun. And you know, through that, I showed others that if you have fun in this business, it's worth your time. It's worth your investment. Um, and you know, being part of this amazing community, I've had the support from cl my closest friends, and some of you guys are out there, you know who you are. Um, and those people have become my business partners. So friends who've become business partners, and I've had business partners and customers who've become friends. And that is the beauty of this business and the beauty of sharing, right? We learned that, right? So, you know, it's important that you guys realize how much this is a relationship game and that it's, you know, you can't just sit back and hide behind your phone or, you know, a pho you know, you have to get out there and really make those connections. So I wanted to share a little story with you guys, kind of peeling back um, and, and kind of share with you kind of where it all began. Um, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I have never done direct selling ever. This, is, this was the first time I, oh gosh, look at that. Woo! I've come a long way, I think. OK, so anyway, um, I, um, I have never been involved in the direct selling business prior to Avon. Um, and so I started with no experience. Now, my corporate background certainly helped me to um, succeed, I, you know, with the fact that I have a, a business acumen, I'm, uh, you know, I've, I think I've always been a hustler, but I feel like I've always thought about this as a business, 
And so I think that that's allowed me to be successful. But there was always an entrepreneurial spirit in there. And that little girl that you just saw on the screen, um, that was me in middle school. Um, I grew up uh, middle class, maybe lower middle class, didn't really have a lot of money. Um, and I wanted to start an A, or not an Avon business, maybe I was in there, um, a babysitting business because I wanted to earn some money um, because, you know, I wanted to get the cool clothes that the other kids had. So I knew that I was going to have to, you know, I couldn't just get that from my parents. I needed to find a way. So when I was in sixth grade, I, uh, I had this grand idea that I was going to start a babysitting business. So what I did was, Back then, you know, there was no real, you know, no computers or things like that. I created a flyer, Natasha's babysitting business, and I went door to door in my neighborhood and I put flyers on everybody's doorstep hoping that someone would be interested. And when I started to get the phone calls, the referrals, repeat business. Is this sounding familiar, anybody? Okay, so, you know, I, and I was excited because I was starting to make some money, and you know, as a, uh, a teenager who maybe wasn't wearing the coolest clothes when I could wear that really cool pair of jeans from Express, remember the button-ups that flipped over? <laughs> I was so excited to, to kind of, you know, be able to, to wear something that uh, was trendy and trending. So, one other little story. Um, so as you can see, I, I, had, um, I had that spirit in me. Nobody pushed me to do that. I decided that that was going to be my way of getting out there and getting, uh, representing myself. So one more little story. When I was also middle school, so that was early middle school, um, I am a little competitive. Um, I don't know if anyone out there, you know, notices that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and not in a bad way, but I do, I, it's not about winning, but I want to, I just want to push myself. And I think that that is something that's always been in me. Um, it's like that 110% um, attitude. But when I was in middle school, later in middle school, there was a contest, like some kind of fundraiser. I really don't remember exactly, but a fundraiser that if you sold the stationery or these like tchotchke type things, you would go door to door. So there we go, I went door to door in my neighborhood and um, I sold, I had to take orders, okay? So I must have been really building this future up for me, but I had to go and take orders for these like stationery and these like, like little gifts, like not very good quality. But look, when you are good at selling something or sharing, as I would say, people, they, they, they feel bad saying no. So. Well, long story short, I, um, there was, uh, for the top, uh, the top sales person um, would earn a limo ride, and I mean, we're talking, this is like 1990 limo, so it was real fancy. Um, <laughs> a limo ride, a day off school, lunch, and you could bring a friend. And I actually won first place, okay? <laughs> And I was just really excited I could, uh, I didn't have to be in school and I could go in the limo and get lunch. So, I mean, you know, it was, it's great winning, but, and I got to share it with somebody else. So, um, you know, these are all the little stories when I was thinking about my, sharing my story with you today, I kind of, you know, kind of forget stories of your life. And, but when I was thinking about my life and things that have helped shape me, I thought that that story would kind of resonate because it shows you that we all have it in there. We all have something in us um, and sometimes you just have to tap into it and believe in yourself. So you guys all probably know me from all my social media posts and uh, the things that you know, I like to share, but one of the things that I think has really helped me be successful is leveraging my personal brand to build my business. I mean, I'm not, there you go. Those are you know, things that you probably have seen. I mean, I love fashion. Um, I love my skincare, and I sure do love my red lip. Um, and I've created that brand, um, and those are things that I love. Um, I'm not trying to be anybody else but me. And I want to encourage everyone out there that, you know, find your passions, use them, and leverage them when you're sharing, the beauty of sharing your passions, and then you sprinkle in your Avon, because success requires passion and personal branding. 
Be passionate about what you love and share it with others. Um, you know, being that brand and making those connections are so, so important. And as we heard just before I came on, just believing in the product, using it, being authentic. Um, one of the things that I think has been really fun for me to see um, over the years is that my personal style and confidence has absolutely evolved alongside this business. And I encourage all of you guys to continue to be authentic and true to yourself. Because when you are confident and you are true to yourself, it's gonna shine, it's gonna come through, and people are gonna be so attracted to you. They're gonna wanna be with you and talk to you and learn from you. And you're gonna wanna learn right back from them. You're gonna reciprocate. And that's where those connections come into play. So another thing that I feel has really helped me continue to be successful in this business is maintaining positivity. Um, you know, staying, po we talked about this, right? We talked about the positive mindset. Um, but being positive and flexible in an ever-changing environment is so important. And don't get me wrong, just because most, I mean, I would say 99% of my posts are always, like, positive. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm not having a hardship. I just don't always want to share that with everybody because I'm really trying to focus on the upside. I always say, you know, take a lemon and make lemonade. The cup has to be half full. Don't look at it as it's half empty. And I'll tell you, I used to think like that. Um, I used to be a little bit more of a pessimist. Um, but you have to, you know, use every opportunity that is given to you through Avon and other ways to learn and grow. Like being here at Avon Connect, this to me, is the one event every year you cannot miss. So thank you so much for being here. Give yourself a round of applause. I firmly believe, and if you know me, you, you've heard me say this a, a million times, that you need to invest in yourself and you need to invest in your business. And there's a lot of ways to do that. It isn't just financially, it's your time, it's your commitment, it's, uh, you know, staying positive. So I, you know, want to make sure you guys are really thinking about that in terms of moving forward and doing that refresh, the restart. Start today. Um, you know, another thing that has been um, some growth for me is overcoming insecurity and being nervous, stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, I was probably shaking like a leaf backstage before I came on here because it's scary. It's scary to put yourself out there and be vulnerable. But if you do that in life, you are going to be successful. And remember, success is not driven by someone else, else's measurements. You define what your success means to you. Don't let someone else decide that for you. Every success matters, the small and the big. And I will tell you right now, the support for my friends and family has been one of the most uh, significant things that have allowed me to continue to move forward, especially when I've had those tough times when I've wanted to give up. I'm getting a little emotional, sorry. because I want to talk about a really important person in my life. Well, there he is. My husband. And if you're watching, Tim, I love you. <laughs> um, I wanted to really give a shout out to one of my biggest supporters in life and in business. Um, his unwavering support of me, honestly, throughout our entire lives together has been so crucial. But it is so important to have a partner who is supportive of you in pursuing your dreams, no matter what they are. Um, he may have been initially skeptical of this whole Avon thing, <laughs> but he has become my biggest supporter and a customer too, because if I don't keep selling Avon, then I'm not gonna be able to support his skincare habit because <laughs> <laughs> a 
it all started with the mission, okay? Which maybe we'll have that come back anyway. But he loves mission. He still, we, we kind of stockpiled a little bit, but we, uh, he uses that every single night. So anyway, you know, just a little bit here. I mean, I want to, you know, give him, you know, the, the props. He, he might be, he's like the silent partner. He is actually a co-op of mine. Many of you have never met him. Uh, you only see pictures on social media. Part of the struggle that we have as a family is that we, we don't have any family close, and you know, we, he's got to work his job, and I have, we have kids, and so you know, we can't always, uh, we can't be together uh, all the time at these kind of events, but he's always here in spirit. Uh, you know, he sent me a text this morning just reminding me that it's going to go great and that he loved me, and that meant the world to me. So. Tim has always been a constant source of strength and encouragement, and he's always picked me up when I'm struggling. And, you know, it's those days, because we all have them, when we're, things just aren't going as planned. Maybe there's a big change in business, or we get disappointed when we don't earn an incentive or something that feels like it's a, you know, barrier for us. But he always reminds me when I'm feeling unsure or, I'm depressed or upset about something. He's like, just remember your why. And I'm not joking to you. He's like, why do you love your Avon business? What is it that drives you? It's your customers. It's your Avon friends and family. All the success that you've had. You can't let this one thing be the hiccup. And I feel like he always brings me back. And you know, for somebody, he's so supportive. He's like, you know, you've got to keep going. And I feel like for all of you guys out there, find that partner, find that person in your life, a friend or a colleague here at Avon, and lean on them. And that's what we need to be doing. So that was the emotional stuff, but I do want to tell a little quick story about something funny. So when I finally got my kids back in school after that summer, because I was like, God, they need to get back to school. I'm not, I'm not, this isn't working well. I'm not very good at house, you know, I'm not a good housekeeper. Um, I just, I, I do like to cook, but I was getting tired of like being a domestic engineer. So um, I was ready for some me time. And as soon as they went back to school on September 8th, um, I uh, probably texted him already a few times that day um, about what he was doing. But I decided that I was going, I was tired of not having my skincare and I signed up for Avon. I was so excited. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And so I called him, you know, he usually doesn't like to talk on the phone too much, it's always quick. But I was like, hey, I have some exciting news. Um, I decided to join Avon. And there was this sort of like pause and like a giggle. And I'm like, I'm like, well, what's so funny? He's like, oh, I thought you were joking. I'm like, <laughs> And now, nine years later, I mean, you know, he is just incredibly proud, and he's such a great partner, because, you know, I call him the silent partner, because although he doesn't um, do the Avon, he supports me in every venture, everything that I do in this business, and he's my biggest cheerleader. So very, very appreciative of his support. So I, I want to go through the rewards of taking risks. I told you, you know, without risk, there's no rewards. And you, know, you saw the picture of me over nine years ago with the little boys. Well, this was just recently um, on our vacation. <laughs> now they're a lot bigger than me. Um, you know, nearly nine years later, I have to say, this was absolutely the best decision I ever took. It was a, took a lot of courage to walk away from everything I thought defined me. And I am so thankful, not only that I leave that career behind, but that I joined Avon. My kids are so much older now. My eldest is heading off to college. And the, the reward right now is I get to spend my best life supporting them. And can I get emotional again? But you know, I, I go to every track meet, you know, just being there when they need me, even though they're boys and they don't, they act like they don't need me. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but you know, I think that you know, I I have a rising senior and he's going to college and it's not cheap and I'm gonna start thinking about how I gotta shift my money that I was maybe spending on me and really start getting, uh, making sure that we are supporting him through college. Um, you know, the other thing that has been really great is that since joining Avon, you know, not only have I developed my entrepreneurial skills, but having that flexibility to be present for my family is uh, priceless. Um, no amount of money I will ever make can replace the value and the time that I've had raising my kids for the last nine years. And you know, we're all here in Boston today, which is an amazing city and so appreciative of uh, the Avon Connect. But all of you are here today, you've traveled here to learn something new. Um, the opportunities we've had to connect, to travel, and build our confidence, connecting with like-minded individuals. Again, another reward. Sometimes we don't look at it that way, but we have to. So you saw that video, which is really emotional for me. One of the other things that has been extremely important to me is giving back to the community. I have used my business to really help support others in the community. My initial involvement with the Sojourner House was me volunteering, um, going to their fundraisers. I started donating Avon baskets, you know, uh, so that they could raise money. Uh, and then I started to really get involved with um, helping the women of the Sojourner House, going in and actually doing programming. And by, you know, I would donate a product to them to help them focus on their self-care. See, for me, donating from my business and helping someone else be seen and lift them up and teach them about confidence and taking care of themselves is what we do every day when we take care of our customers. And supporting the initiatives with the Sojourner House has really helped um, to elevate and empower them and help them feel seen. And, you know, like I said, I started out volunteering. Um, then I did fundraising. Um, I just recently joined the board last year, and now I am going, I'm now the vice president of the board. So I'm very proud of that <laughs> and helping them. So I just want to share sort of as we come to a close here, I want to kind of share a few things with you, okay? The person I was was high stress corporate woman. I struggled terribly with work-life balance. I felt disconnected from my family and lacked personal fulfillment. And I didn't take care of myself. I didn't do the, the self-care. I didn't focus on personal passions that, were, that mattered to me. But what I want to share, which is, remember, the cup's half full in the rewards, is the person that I've become today. I've developed entrepreneurial skills and confidence. I've embraced my passions and used that to share the beauty with others. And my community service, I will tell you, has been the most fulfilling part, besides really the family, I think, was first. But being able to help someone who has far less than me. I've stepped out of my comfort zone, like being on stage here today, because I, you know, this is not an easy task. So I encourage all of you guys to get out of your comfort zone, take that risk, because there will be rewards. So here are my final reflections. I learned a lot. I have lessons learned from my corporate life that I've instilled into my business that still remain valuable. So whatever your, your past was and something, the skill sets that you have, you can use them in your business. Avon has always provided me something that truly is mine to own and grow. It's mine. I get to be the boss. I've integrated the passions of my life into my business and the other way around. 
I've improved my marriage, my family life, and my health. I encourage everyone here to take risks. Find your passion. Create your own path and surround yourself with people who want to be supportive. And really, you know, I, we didn't coordinate our, my speech with what was going to be shared here at Avon Connect, but I think it's kind of interesting that, you know, think about a way to reinvent yourself. And, you know, that's was going to be something I wanted to share. I reinvented who I was. And I didn't let someone reinvent that for me. So, you know, refresh, restart, find who you are, and go with it. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for listening to my story. I hope you all feel like you know me a little bit better. And I hope that you all take um, some time to think about some risks that you have been thinking about wanting to take and discovering that there can be some really amazing rewards that go with them. So thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. Thank you.